Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. And if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Keep subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, and giving us stuff to react to. We're very, very grateful. Hope you guys are doing all right. So today, I'm going to be reacting to the Army of Satan part 10 magic the global project so without wasting time let's get into the video What about the ruling of this pretend magic? What about buying your kids a little, you know, box set on how to do little magic tricks and make the card disappear and pick a card, any card? In reality, this is something without a shadow of a doubt, which is very haram. Why? Because it leads to imitating the magicians. It makes somebody love magic. It makes them love magicians. It makes them encouraged towards practicing it. And at the end of the day, it shows a kind of a a kind of a affinity and a kind of a love towards magicians and it is a step towards practicing real magic so it's not permissible for people to buy these kinds of kits other forms of knowledge that are related to magic that have the same ruling fortune telling soothsaying reading the tea leaves reading the palms astrology a diviner or a seer someone who says that i can my car got so i can tell you where your car got stolen who's got it i can tell you uh who did this i can you know somebody uh you know somebody broke your window last night i can tell you who it is people who write horoscopes and so on and so forth all of these things together are uh under the, the ruling of magic and everything that i've said applies to them what about these people we see on tv what about david blaine what about Chris Angel and all of these people that are seen on TV? And what is the ruling of watching them? It is said that some of these people use tricks of the camera and tricks of the studio and computer generated graphics to do what they do. Even if this is true, it would be haram to watch them. But from my experience and what limited knowledge I have and Allahu A'lam, it seems to me that these people are genuinely engaged in magic. And it is very clear that the description of the magician applies very closely to them. And many of the tricks they do cannot be explained away by tricks of the television. Even if they were tricks of the television, it would not be permissible for you because this would be something that is showing love towards the magicians, imitating the magicians, loving the people who hate Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it would not be permissible anyways, but it seems that they are genuinely magicians, the majority of them, and it is extremely, extremely serious to watch them. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever goes to a fortune teller and asks a question, his salah will not be accepted for 40 days. And whoever believes in what they say has disbelieved in that which was revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Watching a magician on TV According to the opinion of most, if not all, of the scholars who have answered this question, watching a magician reading your horoscopes makes you from the people whose salah is not accepted for 40 days. Believing in what you read makes you a disbeliever who has left the religion of Islam. Watching someone like this on TV, your salah is not accepted for 40 days. Wallahu a'lam. Believing in their magic and the way that they do things and their power You leave Islam So it is a very 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 serious serious thing to do Sometimes people are lured into practicing magic because they enter into things like for example They get involved in tricks tricks of the hand maybe it's a simple putting something under the sleeve and it comes out of the other side and then they want more like a drug addict more and more it's not enough to simply make a coin disappear in their hand and appear in the other hand 
then it has to be more and more and more until they go into things, maybe perhaps they go into a Ouija board or something like this, which involves calling upon the shaitan. And then once the shaitan gets hold of them, they go into it further and further. Some people are lured innocently into the practice of magic by reading books in which it says, try this, this is a particularly good thing. This will make your wife love you. This will make your husband love you. This will make your enemies hate you. This will destroy your enemies. Write these things, say these things, do these actions. So people come into magic in different ways. Some of them follow their desires for richness, for fame, for wealth. Some of them uh, are overcome by their desires for the world, like we're gonna hear in a little while. Some of them are lured by Tadarruj by steps, by, you know, step by step, they begin by something light, they begin by tricks, they begin by potions, and then they get into worse and worse and worse until they enter into real magic. And sometimes people find this information in books and they mistakenly believe it to be something beneficial and something good. And once they get involved in it, the shaitan gets hold of them. And once the shaitan gets hold of them, they begin to enter into real magic. Because we are human, we all have special heads. Our intelligence allows us to be masters of our universe. A lot of what's happening today is in this realm. And it's very difficult for people to understand this, but when you study it, what you find is that, that the people that, a lot of the people involved in mass uh, control are actually heavily involved in this science. And that, that's what you find out uh, when you do the research. Uh, many of the people that are involved in film many of the people involved in music, many of the people that are uh, involved in uh, newscasting, they know how to manipulate uh, the minds of people. And whether it's done with this type of magic or simply with the power of technology and the higher magic, the result is the same. You get people that are uh, as if they're possessed. It's very strange that they place these satellites at 22,000 because those are their numbers 11, 22, 33. They like multiples of 11 and things like this. So I don't know. I mean, we're all trying to work this thing out, aren't we? But uh, these things are real and jadu, whatever you want to call it, it's real. In the last few years, it's become much clearer to me how much this is actually a force working in the world. And, and it makes much more sense to me now why there are so many 
hadith and so many protective du'as against this stuff. You know, a'udhu bi karimati ra'i tamati min sharri ma kharaq. This is evil. And also, a'udhu bi karimati ra'i min hamazata shayateen. You know, the, these, the, the influences of the demons. The Prophet said, wa'in yahdurun, or that they should become present. You know, so the demonic realm is real. And there are people, unfortunately, that are actively involved in attempting to bring that realm into this realm. And this is where it gets very strange. First of all, I'd love to ask, do you guys believe in magic or do you think magic is just an illusion as just a trick you know something they fool us with and we believe in what they're doing what if they put the coin in here it appears here what if it was already in this hand you know and um i don't know how to feel about magic though um is there good magic in this world or every sort of magic is bad and how do we know magic is actually bad and for the people that actually practice magic, where do they get those powers to actually do something? That's what I would love to know. Because there should be something giving them that power to do these sorts of things that they actually do, you know. And for those that don't do the, just the illusion thing, just the mind trick thing, the people that actually do these things. Because I think it does exist to some extent and for the people that practice it or have grasped the concept of it and use it in a good or bad way, why do that? Why, why, why? I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about magic right now. If you're using it for bad reasons, then it should be bad. But does anyone ever use it for good reasons? Because I'm trying to think, has anyone ever used magic to like heal a person? Do you understand? Like, I know magic and I can heal myself from this disease. Does that ever happen? Or it's just these other things that happen? And um, I don't really watch magic shows. I don't think I've watched many and if I have, maybe it was just, it happened to just be there. So I really don't know much about magic, but if you guys know, please comment down below, educate me, explain more of this or, or answer the questions that I've asked. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.